Okay, so you're looking to install the latest version of Kodi onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube or Android TV. What's the best, easiest and safest way to do that? Now the entire process just takes a couple of minutes. Anybody can do it just by following the steps in this video. Now, if you didn't know, Kodi is an open source media player, very, very popular. You can get it directly from the Google Play Store. As you can see, it's had more than 50 million downloads. It supports all of your favorite video formats, audio formats, and you can also install add-ons to extend the functionality. These add-ons will give you access to movies, TV shows, sports, lots of different things. And of course, there's third-party add-ons available as well. Now to start the process on your Amazon device is just head over to the search icon where it says find. Let's click on that. Go down into where it says search. Click on that again. And I'm now going to type in the word downloader. Here we are. I can now click on that. Click on that again and click on that one more time to begin the installation. And this application is a great application. It's a built-in browser. It allows you to download applications from other sources and install them. And let's click on got it. Now, before we open this application, we need to now enable that change. So if I now press the home key, let's now go to the right and where we have the settings cogwheel, let's click on that. I'm now going to click on MyFi TV. Let's click on that again. Now here you want to click on developer options. Now, if you have a brand new Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube and you don't see this developer options menu, what you want to do is click on about. And here where you see your device type, either a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, just press the select button here seven times. So one, two, three, four. And you can see on mine, it says I'm already a developer. On your device, if it's the first time you've done this, when you get to the seventh click, you will get the message that you're now a developer, which means you can now press back and you will then see the developer options. So you can now click on this and where it says install unknown apps. Now, if you have a slightly older Fire Stick, you may just see an option here, which is set to off. You want to change the option to on, which again means that you can now install applications from third party or unknown sources. But as this is a newer device, I need to click on this first and we can now see my downloaded applications in here. I can now click on that. We can see that now it changes to on and this now means that I can now use Downloader to download and install any application that I like. So now that we've made that change, I can now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader for the first time. Let's click on that. I can now click on allow. Click on OK. Now where we have the, the box here where you can type something in, if I click in that, this is where you'd now type in an address like google.com or something else but you can also type in codes, which are like short codes to get to certain pages. So I've created a custom code, which will always take you to the latest version of the Kodi application. Right now, as of April, 2024, the latest version is Kodi 21, which has the code name Omega. So, so it doesn't matter when you're watching this video, whether it's April, 2024 or December, 2025, as long as you use that code, you'll always find the latest and most current version of this application. Now that code you need is just 120-876. And this will take you directly to my website where you'll always find the latest version of this application. Let's give that a second. And I will show you that on this page, I've also created an extra link. If you are looking for more of those third party exotic type add-on so all of that will be included so here we have the latest install guide gives you some information about this application yep it's an open source media player released back in 2002 as xbmc xbox media center and then since then it's just grown strength to strength and it really is the best media player i've ever used in the last you know 20 so years really any format video any type of audio file you know whether it's you know super compressed whether it's 4k whether it's hdr whatever the format is cody never seems to struggle to play any of them it just does everything without even breaking a sweat so i would say for a pure media player i've never really found anything better than this application let's keep scrolling down and here we can see we have a couple of options depending on your device architecture 
we can see that if you're doing this on a 32-bit device like a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, unfortunately all of the Amazon Fire TV devices are 32-bit. If that is your device, go for the first link here. Now, if you have a 64-bit device like the NVIDIA Shield or maybe another Android TV box that is running 64-bit OS, then you can go for the second link here. And this will give you the 64-bit version of this application. And here is the third link if you're looking for that stuff. Now, as I'm doing this on my Fire TV Cube, I want to go for the first link. Let's click on that. I can now scroll down and I can click on this green download button. And this will download the latest version directly onto my device. And it is worth mentioning that if you have a previous version, like maybe Kodi 20.5, when you install this version, it will do an in-place upgrade. So theoretically, any of your add-ons, any of your settings that you have on your previous version, all of them will be automatically updated when you install the update to this application. So let's now click on install. That's now all done. I can click on done. Now, I do recommend, uh, because the file is fairly large, to click on delete here, which means you're now deleting the installation file, which is really not needed anymore. So let's click on delete and delete again. That's now all done. I can now press the home button. Let's now go over to the left and let's navigate to my app library. Let's click on that. And let's now find the updated version of this application in the list. Now we can see it's there. Let's now start that for the first time. We can see it's doing the preparations for the first run. And we can see now in a couple of seconds, we have successfully installed Kodi 21 code name Omega and we are now good to go. So we can now use this application to access all of our favorite local content. Maybe you have content on a NAS drive or another computer. You can access all of that content directly from this application. Now, as I mentioned before, you can install add-ons to enhance or increase the amount of content you can access. It is always worthwhile mentioning that if you are going to access that kind of content from those kind of add-ons, then it is always just advisable to use a VPN because a VPN will protect your privacy, a VPN will change your IP address, and it just means that nobody can see, your ISP can't see what you're doing online, and you can go ahead and browse and access all of that favorite content completely unrestricted and completely unmonitored. Right now, there is actually a very special offer or a superb price of just $2.75 per month. So really at that price point to get total protection, keep yourself safe online, get maximum privacy. Nobody can track you. Your ISP can't see what you're doing. You can download content. You can stream content. You can take advantage of this new advanced threat protection to get all of that at under $3 a month. I definitely think this special offer is worthwhile checking out. It is only there for the next two weeks. Using my link does help support my channel and my work. So many thanks if you want to do that. Have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.